welcome to this session my dear students and this topic deals with the evolution of food packaging system for the preservation of food man turned from hunter gatherer to preserver and processor when started cultivating his own food the basic techniques in preservation were drying freezing and fermentation all the above techniques were in a smaller scale until the turn of the 19th century when french scientist nicolas apart invented the preservation by canning and thereafter techniques evolved the recent demand for near fresh quality and self stable product have resulted in many innovative processing and preservation techniques foremost are retortable pouches aseptic packaging controlled atmospheric packaging vacuum packing and recent one and more promising technique is modified atmospheric packaging so let us know what is the history of the modified atmospheric packaging so map it is shortly called as map map was first recorded in 1927 to extend the shelf life of apples by storing them with reduced oxygen and carbon dioxide concentration by the spencer's group next the first major commercial application of map took place in 1974 by the french company scopa started selling modified atmospheric packaging meat in 1979 uk max developed modified atmospheric storage for a number of commodities of fruits to transport for a longer distance modified atmospheric packaging or map is a technique used for prolonging the shelf life period of fresh or minimally processed foods the exact definition for the map the map has been aptly defined by hitlane and hitchcock in 1986 as the packaging of perishable product in an atmosphere which has been modified so that its composition is other than that of air the shelf life of perishable foods as meat poultry fish fruits and vegetables and bakery product is limited in the presence of normal air by two principal factors the chemical effect of the atmospheric oxygen and the growth of aerobic spoilage microorganisms these factors either individually or in association with one another bring about changes in order flavor color or texture leading to an overall deterioration in quality low temperature storage is effective in slowing down these undesirable changes but will not necessarily extend the shelf life sufficiently for a retail distribution and display purpose the modified atmospheric concept for the packaged goods consists of modifying the atmosphere surrounding a food product by vacuum gas flushing or controlled permeability of the pack thus controlling the biochemical enzymatic and microbial action so as to avoid or decrease the main degradation that might occur this allows the preservation of the fresh state of food products without the temperature or chemical treatment used by competitive preservative techniques such as canning freezing dehydration and other process so map map that modified atmospheric packaging is the replacement of air in a pack with a single gas or a mixture of gas the proportion of each component is fixed whether the mixture is introduced the normal composition of air is 21% oxygen 78% nitrogen and less than 0.3% carbon dioxide modification of atmosphere within the package by reducing the oxygen content while increasing the level of carbon dioxide and or nitrogen has been shown to significantly extend the shelf life of perishable foods at chilling temperatures the basic concept of map of fresh food is the replacement of the air surrounding the food in the packaging with a mixture of atmospheric gas different in proportion from that of the air the gas percentage is 
nitrogen 78 percent, oxygen 21 percent, organ 0 0.94 percent, carbon dioxide 0 0.03 percent and hydrogen 0 0.01 percent. Now, we will see the activation of these different gases, especially the oxygen. The food deteriorates due to physical, chemical and microbial factors. So, oxygen is probably the most important gas in this context being used metabolically by both aerobic spoilage microorganism and plant tissues taking part in some enzymatic reaction in food including the compounds such as vitamins and flavors. In modified atmospheric packaging oxygen is either excluded or level set as low as possible. The exemption occurs when oxygen is needed for fruits and vegetable respiration. In MAP, oxygen levels are normally set as low as possible to reduce the oxidative deterioration of the foods. Oxygen will generally stimulate the growth of aerobic bacteria and can inhibit the growth of strictly anaerobic bacteria, although there is a very wide variation in the sensitivity of the anaerobic to oxygen. Next, we will talk about the carbon dioxide. The carbon dioxide is both water and lipid soluble and although it is not a bactericide or fungicide, carbon dioxide has a bacteriostatic and fungistatic property. The overall effect on microorganism is an extension of lag phase of growth and decrease in growth rate during the logarithmic growth phase. The earlier the product packaged with carbon dioxide, the more effective is observed. The bac this bacteriostatic effect is influenced by concentration of carbon dioxide, the partial pressure of carbon dioxide, volume of head space gas, the type of microorganism, the age and the load of initial bacterial population, the microbial growth phase, the growth medium used, the storage temperature, acidity, water activity and the type of the product being packed. Yeast which produces carbon dioxide during growth are stimulated by high levels of carbon dioxide and thus some products where they are potentially a major cause of spoilage, MAP may not be an advisable option for that products. The food associated pathogens, Clostridium preferens and Clostridium botulinum are not affected by the presence of carbon dioxide and their growth is encouraged by the anaerobic conditions. In general, carbon dioxide is most effective in food where the normal spoilage organisms consist of aerobic gram-negative psychotropic bacteria. The bacteriostatic effect of carbon dioxide has been known for many years. The precious mechanism, if its action is still a subject of considerable interest. There have been many theories regarding the way in which carbon dioxide exerts its influence on the bacterial cell. These can be summarized as follows. A. Alteration of cell membrane function including effect of nutrient uptake and absorption. Direct inhibition of enzymes or decreases in the rate of enzyme reaction. C. Penetration of bacterial membranes leading to intercellular pH changes. Direct change to physicochemical properties of protein. The next gas what we are going to see is nitrogen. So, nitrogen is an inert tasteless gas which displays little or no antimicrobial activity on its own. It is less soluble in water and fat. The presence of nitrogen in a MAP food can prevent pack collapse that can occur when high concentration of carbon dioxide are used. Displacing oxygen with nitrogen in a pack can delay oxidative rancidity and also inhibit the growth of aerobic microorganism. In foods such as nuts, removing oxygen to less than 1 percent by nitrogen flushing helps to prevent oxidative rancidity of the fats. The nitrogen can indirectly influence the microorganism in perishable foods by retarding the growth of aerobic spoilage organisms. 
The second role of nitrogen in MAP is to act as a filler gas and keeps flexible packages from developing a vacuum. Exactly what combination of gases is used depend on many factors such as the type of product, packaging material and storage temperature. The packaging system selected must have a sufficient heat space to provide enough gas to interact with entire product and to the length of the period the product has to be stored. The longer the required shelf life then the larger the heat space should be maintained. So now we will go for the gas mixtures. So gas mixtures, what are they? there are three types of gas mixtures used in the modified atmospheric packaging. One inert blanketing, only the nitrogen gas. Two semi-reactive blanketing with carbon dioxide, nitrogen, or oxygen and carbon dioxide or nitrogen. So fully reactive blanketing is carbon dioxide or carbon dioxide and oxygen the packaging materials there are six main characteristics to consider when selecting packaging materials for the modified atmospheric packaged foods first is resistance to puncture second is sealing reliability third is anti fogging property fourth is carbon dioxide permeability fifth is oxygen permeability and sixth water transmission rate although an increasing choice of packaging materials are available to the MAP industries. Most packs are constructed from four basic polymers. One polyvinyl chloride, polyethylene tetraphthate, polypropylene and polyethylene. So what are the types of machines we are going to do this? Machine systems for the MAP. The first element for optimum gas packing is appropriate equipment. There are two types of techniques to be replaced the air, gas flushing, compensated vacuum. In gas flushing technique is normally accomplished on a form fill sealed machine. The replacement of air inside a packaging is performed by the continuous gas stream. This gas stream dilutes the air in the atmosphere surrounding the food product in the pack. The packaging is then sealed. Since the replacement of air inside the package is accomplished by dilution, there is a limit on the efficiency of this unit. Typical residual oxygen level in gas flushed pack are 2 to 5 percent oxygen. Therefore, if the food item to be packed is very oxygen sensitive, the gas flush technique is normally not suitable. So, when considering a packaging system, it is important to consider the oxygen sensitivity of the food product. The great advantage of gas flushing technique is the speed of the machine. Since the action is continuous, the product rate can be very high. The compensated vacuum technique removes the, the air inside by pulling a vacuum on the atmosphere inside the package and then break the vacuum with a desired gas mixture. By replacement of the air is accomplished in a two stage process. The speed of the operation of the equipment is slower than the gas flushing technique. However, since the air is removed by vacuum and not simply diluted, the efficiency of the unit with respect to residual air level is better. Therefore, if the food product is extremely sensitive to oxygen, a compensated vacuum machine must be used. The composition of atmosphere within a packaging results from the interaction of number of factors that include permeability characteristics of the package, the respiratory behavior of the plant material, the environment. The films making up the packaging are selected to have a specific permeability characteristics and changes in these characteristics over the time, temperature and humidity follow known physical laws. The environment can be controlled to provide specific conditions. In contrast to these known and controllable factors are the often unknown and uncontrollable response of the plant materials. The plant specific cultivars, cultural practices, stage of development, manner of harvest, tissue type and post harvest handling all contribute and influence the response of the material to generate atmosphere. The scope of plant response can be further modified by initial gas flushing 
of the packaging before sealing and inclusion of chemical treatments to slow unwanted process or reduce decay. Each of these component of the packaging process can be examined separately to better understand how each contribute to packaging strategies. Now let us start with the methods of creating modified atmospheric conditions. Modified atmospheres can be created either passively by the commodity or intentionally via active packaging. Passive modified atmosphere. Modified atmospheres can be passively be evolved within a hermetically sealed packages as a consequence of the commodity's respiration that is by oxygen consumption and carbon dioxide evolution. If a commodity's respiration characteristics are properly matched to film permeability values, then a beneficial modified atmosphere can be passively created within a package. If a film of correct intermediate permeability is chosen, then a desirable equilibrium modified atmosphere is established when the rate of oxygen and carbon dioxide transmission through the packaging equal a product's respiration rate. Active packaging by pulling a slight vacuum and replacing the packaging atmosphere with a desired mixture of carbon dioxide, oxygen and nitrogen, a beneficial equilibrium atmosphere can be established more quickly than a passively generated equilibrium atmosphere. Yet another active packaging technique, use of oxygen, carbon dioxide or ethylene scavengers or emitters. Such scavengers or emitters are capable of establishing a rapid equilibrium atmosphere within hermetically sealed produce package. So now let us see what are the advantages and disadvantages of modified atmospheric packaging. So what are the advantages of modified atmospheric packaging is increased shelf life allowing less frequent loading of the retail display shelves, reduction in retail wastage, improved presentation, clear view of the product and all around visibility, hygienic stackable pack, sealed and free from product drip and order, easy separation of sliced products, little or no need for the chemical preservatives, increased distribution area and reduced transportation cost due to less frequent deliveries. Centralized packaging and portion control, reduction in production and storage cost due to better utilization of labor, space and equipment. Now let us go for the disadvantages of modified atmospheric packaging. Capital cost of the gas packaging machinery, cost of gases and packaging materials, cost of analytical equipment to ensure that correct gas mixture are being used, the cost of quality assurance system to prevent the distribution of leakers and etc. Increased pack volume which will adversely affect the transport cost and retail display space. Potential growth of food borne pathogens due to temperature abuse by the retailers and consumers. Benefits of modified atmospheric packaging are lost once the pack is opened or leaks. Now we had a brief discussion on modified atmospheric packaging. In the next session, we will be knowing about the packaging material. Thank you for your kind attention.